Hello, I'm Sky Taylor and welcome to Tips and Tricks number 22. Today we're going to talk about six important tips that will help you to become a better artist. Especially if you're a beginner, pay attention. Tip number one is to never use paint straight out of the tube. One of the biggest mistakes amateurs make is they don't mix their paint. You have to mix in order to achieve different values and to make your painting more interesting. Nothing looks worse than just straight color straight out of the tube. Learn how to mix. Now I'm not saying that you can't use paint out of the tube to highlight, you know, a little bit here and there, but don't do a complete painting with nothing but straight tube paint. Not good. Gotta learn how to mix. Very, very important. Now, abstract artists will have a variety of colors. Uh, the reason why I do is because I don't have time to mix different values. I want to get it on the canvas and I mix right on the canvas once I get the value done. But if you're just a regular painter, you're painting just regular things, when you're starting out, you basically need only just a few colors, and that would be your red, yellow, blue, which are your primary colors, black, and white. Uh, and from that, th those colors, you can mix any color under the, under the sun. So that's a tip for you right there. Okay, tip number two. When painting abstracts, try mixing your paint directly on the canvas and not on the palette. A palette, uh, when you are uh, using a palette, which I do in my demonstrations, it, it slows the process down. You know, you want to be able to work quick. It, it depends on what you're used to working with, you know. Uh, if you're used to working with a palette, you, that's what you do. But what I do is I usually don't mix on the palette and I mix directly on the canvas. I'll put the, the, paint, the paint on the canvas and then mix my values right on there. You know, it saves a step. It makes the abstract process go quickly. Try it. Try mixing directly on the canvas. Okay, tip number three. What's the difference between Mars black and ivory black? Well, Mars black is more opaque. It's a blacker black. And ivory black is a little bit more on the transparent side. And if you have a choice and you're on a budget, I would pick the Mars black before I would pick the ivory black because it's a blacker black. So there's a good tip. If you have to have one in your arsenal, get the Mars black. Now, tip number four, mixing black. Now, like I said, you don't ever want to use paint straight out of the tube. If you use Mars black or even if you use ivory black, you'll want to mix it always. Always want to mix it with another color. Like, for instance, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, uh, cadmium red. You want to mix that in the black to add depth to it. Black by itself. You know, if you have black mixed up, let's say you go to a hardware store and you're going to have house paint mixed. One of the hardest colors to mix in house paint is black because it takes a lot of different colors, a lot of different pigments, to make a, a really rich, deep black. And it's expensive for them to make that because it takes a lot of pigments. So chances are, if you're getting a house paint in black, it's not gonna be black black. It's gonna be more like an ivory black. I've had that situation. I learned firsthand is just by artist grade black. You, you'll always know what you'll get. And if you have the one choice, get Mars black, mix it with other colors. Okay, now, tip number five, titanium white versus zinc white. Well, what's the difference between the two? Well, titanium white is more of an opaque white. It, it, it'll cover an area more. Uh, if you're trying to cover something up, a titanium white will do the job. Zinc white is more for mixing. In other words, you'd use the zinc white to mix with other colors. It's not really as opaque and it doesn't cover as well as titanium. If you have a choice between the two, pick titanium. You can mix it just the same, but it's a more opaque white. 
It's a better value for your money when it comes down to it because you can use it uh, a little bit more than you can zinc white. I don't ever have zinc white. I just have titanium white. Good enough. Okay, and now tip number six. You want to load, if you want to create an interesting effect, use different colors on your brush. In other words, when you're doing an abstract, don't just pick up a red. Pick up a red on one corner of the brush, pick up a yellow on the other, and mix it right on the canvas. You'll come up with an orange. Or you could put red on one corner, white in the middle, and yellow on the end, and do a painting with it. You're mixing your colors right on the canvas, and that's, you can create some incredible paintings that way by just adding different colors right there on the brush and slapping it on the canvas. Well, those are six tips that I hope help you to be a better artist. So why don't you try those today and we'll be talking to you real soon. Thank you for watching. My name is Sky Taylor. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next Sunday on the next tips and tricks. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>